lately I've been thinking a lot about reward systems. So this is when you want somebody to do something and um, you associate some sort of arbitrary reward. Some um, disconnected. It doesn't really have to be disconnected, but, but something external um, to their action that rewards them for doing it. Um, our whole society is based on this, but it's come to my mind because um, I just started a job as a teacher um, with a bunch of middle school kids who are kind of, you know, they're middle school kids. And they're, they don't, they don't care about school. They just, uh, they just goof around a lot, talk a lot, want to socialize. And our job as teachers is to somehow implant in their minds that school is actually important to them, even though they may not realize it. It's kind of a moral gray area to me. Um, but so one thing we tried was to give them candy um, for every 10 minutes that they didn't distract other students, that, that they behaved well from our perspective. We found, I found at least, um, that this is kind of self-defeating. This really, this really goes against what we want for them. Um, because they'll start associating, they'll start associating school with candy. They'll start going, oh yeah, well, if I do school well, then I'll get candy, and candy is what I really want. But, but we don't want them to value candy. What we're, we're communicating to them is that candy is the is the goal. So, you know, the time comes when they're making the choice to go to college and down in their subconscious they're saying, well, how much candy is that they're in it for me? Not, why would this be important to me? Why am I, I actually genuinely with my whole heart want to do college? So, um, and, and so our, like I said, our whole society is built like this, right? It's every job, every job is like, well, do this thing and we'll pay you for it. And with money, you can get stuff you want and kind of built into that, at least sort of assumed is the idea that you don't want to do a job because if you wanted to do it you wouldn't have to get paid for it um i mean you gotta you gotta live to survive but that's a that's kind of a s systemic thing right if if everybody if there was genuine want to fulfill every role in society and on some level i think there is then we wouldn't really need money when people just do what they want of course, that doesn't allocate resources efficiently, blah, 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 but I'm not really talking about that right now. I'm talking about compensating somebody, undermining, communicating to them that they shouldn't really be wanting to do this, because if they did, you wouldn't have to pay them. Um, and, you know, crime is the same way. Don't do crime. It's a it's a punishment, right? Because if you do crime, we're going to put in jail. Put you in jail. Um, and so there's no genuine want not to do crime, not to do harm to others. It's just about, it's about self-preservation. And by punishing crimes, we're undermining our ultimate goal, which is that we want people not to hurt each other, that we want people to be good to each other. And so we find gamers, all of these gamers, all over Wall Street, all over everywhere in the world, are like, well, I can hurt people in a way that the system doesn't catch me, and so I'm gonna do that. And they feel like they've won. If you don't punish crimes, there's no game. There's no game to play. You just you do what you want to do and hopefully you do the thing you feel is right. And 
so with these kids, we we want to communicate. We want to communicate to them that we think school is valuable in and of itself. Right? We we want a genuine caring of them for their own education, for their own growth. And when we reward them with candy, we're saying, well, okay, we want you to grow for God knows what reason. Um, but really what you, we want is for you to do school. That's, school is the most important thing, not your growth. And that's false. That's, some people may not realize how false that is. Um, some teachers may not realize how false that is. I don't, I don't care that these students finish school. I want, I want them to live beautiful lives and I don't want them to shoot themselves in their foot early in life and if school isn't the right thing for them so be it but for them I feel like school is the right thing I can't really know that but I can communicate that um, and the way to communicate that isn't by giving them candy right that communicates the opposite thing. that communicates that school is not valuable and candy is valuable I mean, generalizing, I don't want to sound like some sort of bolder hippie, although that is what I am. Um, capitalism is undermining the moral society. Capitalism is preventing people from feeling like what they're doing is, is fulfilling. This is where midlife crises has come from, and everything like that, right? It's like, even if you are fulfilled by your job, the system, the monetary system, the compensation system is telling you that it's not valuable by itself, that there needs, that you need some extra perk for it to be valuable. And so you break down because you haven't been doing something you value with your life. So, and it's really volunteering volunteering that showed me this because I, I went and taught a very stressful difficult activity really for me um, but, but without being compensated I communicated to myself that this is important to me period I don't like without anything else this is it if I could survive do this, I would. I would.